Good day. In this video, we're going to show you the way we use to sketch exponential graphs. We will start by sketching the graph in the red circle, then the one in the blue circle. Then we will expand it to sketch any exponential graph you might run into. The most important way to sketch any graph in the world is to use the table method. If they ever force you to sketch the graph without using a calculator, you also need to know your exponents, especially the negative exponents. So look at that video, negative exponents. In this video, we will sketch six graphs. We will stick to this rule at the bottom. First, find the order of the equation. Is it in the right order? We will find the one asymptote. We will check the shape. Then we'll use a table to find values on the graph. And you should know your negative exponents. We know that it's an exponential graph if there is an x as an exponent with a normal base. You can write it as y equals to 2 to the power of x or f of x equals 2 to the power of x. Same thing. So here is the mother formula we're going to start with. If the number at the bottom here is bigger than 1, then the graph will be going up from left to right. It's written here. B is bigger than 1. Bigger than 1. So numbers like 2, 3 over 2. If there's a fraction, the top number is bigger than the bottom number. Then this will happen. So this is the shape if the b is bigger than 1. Next, we have exponential equations. There's a little x in the air there. With a base that is a fraction which is less than 1. You can write it like this, or like this, or like this. I warned you, you better know your negative exponents first. Your basic formula. And again, we say if this guy is between 0 and 1. In other words, a fraction, top guy, smaller than bottom guy then the graph will be going down from left to right. Please stop the video and get your brain around to this. And make sure you understand when will it be going up from left to right and when will it be going down from left to right. Here's our first question. We have to sketch f of x is equal to y is equal to 2 to the power of x. Firstly, I'm going to keep a rough Cartesian plane next to me to fill in information as I work it out. First, I put the equation in the right order. It is, there is the order we want. So we've got y equals to 1 times 2 to the power of x plus 0. Next, we find the 1 asymptote we will find on an exponential graph. The equation is always y equals the number at the back. So we've got y equals plus 0. You indicate it on your Cartesian plane and you write in the equation. That's why I wrote here, you draw it in. Number three, we remind ourselves what the shape would look like. Because that bottom is uh, bigger than one, the graph will be going up from left to right. Now we set up our table with x coming down here and y going down here. We st always start in the middle of our table with 0, 1, and 2. We will always bring in new numbers as we need them, but we start with 0, 1, and 2. We substitute this 0 into the equation and get the y value. This table can be found on your calculator. There is a function table. You use the alpha button to find the x. There's a video that explains sketch functions using a calculator table. In this video, you're not allowed to use a calculator, so we're going to take that node, x value, plug it in the place of x there. The 2 to the power of node is 1. So your first coordinate is 0 and 1, and you plot it over there. Then you substitute this 1. In the place of x there, you work it out, you get your y value is 2. So I've got a coordinate 1 and 2, which I plot 1 and 2. Then you can replace x with 2, you get the y value as 4. So you can see from left to right our graph is increasing. Then we choose a smaller value than 0, which is minus 1, plug it in the place of x, work it out with my negative exponents, and I get the answer as a half. So my y value will be a half. So I go here to minus 1 and up to a half. I plot it there and then I can see my graph is going to run here. Let me draw it in. So it, start, it cannot cross the asymptote and it goes up like that. The arrow on both sides. Please stop the video and understand how the table helped me to find my graph. So your final sketch will look like this. Indicate your y-axis your x-axis, your asymptote is drawn in with its equation, the graph is drawn in, the equation is written here, your coordinate
intercept one extra coordinate on the left and one coordinate on the right. The domain of this graph will be d of f. If we gave it the name f, is x is the limit of r, you can also write it that way. But look at the video that says domain and range. Your range will be the range of f is the y is an element of from naught to infinity. The graph starts here at naught, doesn't touch at naught, not included, goes up for, forever. Also write y is bigger than zero. This function is increasing for all x values. It's increasing as it goes from left to right. Please stop the video. To make sure you understand what happened here. Now we're going to show you how to sketch the five most common graphs that follows on the first one. If they give us this equation, we put it in the right order. It is in the right order. We find the one asymptote. If you remember the trick. Y equals to number at the back. That is Y equals to zero. We fill it in, draw it in on our rough sketch. We plan our shape because that bottom number is lying between naught and one. The graph will be coming down from the left to the right. We use our calculator or we draw a table starting with naught, leave space on top for smaller numbers, one and two. Replace the naught in the place of X either there or there, or depending which one suits you, work it out and get your y value is 1. Plot it on your Cartesian plane. Substitute a 1 in the place of x there, you're going to get a half. 2, you're going to get a quarter, and you plot it, and you see your graph is going down as you're going to the right. Put smaller numbers into your table and substitute it into your equation. Get your coordinates and plot them. You see the graph is still going up on the left hand side. You draw your graph in and you're not allowed to cross the asymptote. Then your final graph will look like this. Make sure you put in some coordinates. Make sure you put in intercept. Make sure you put it in as a coordinate. Put in your asymptote with its equation and the equation of this graph, either looking like this or like this. Your domain will be x element of r, real numbers, all x's will work. Your range will run from naught and up, so from naught up the graph is going. And the function is decreasing for all values of x. It's coming down all the time. Stop the video, get your brain around this one. Here is our next equation. We put it in standard form, it is. We find the one asymptote, y equals to back number, y equals to minus 1, and we draw it in. Then we decide on our shape, because the base of x is a fraction between 0 and 1. It will be coming down, don't look at the 4. Then we draw a table, starting in the middle of the table at 0, 1 and 2. Substitute it into the equation using a calculator, or you can even do it yourself. Find these coordinates and plot them. Take one or two smaller numbers than naught, plug it into the equation and find the y values and plot it. Then your graph will look something like this. Stop the video and get your brain around this equation with this graph. It is our next equation that we have to sketch. Be careful, this one is different. So you have to put it in standard form. That one over there. I must rearrange it. This is what comes to the front and this goes to the back. Now it's in standard form or in order. There is one asymptote, y equals to 1. The shape is because the b, the base of x, is bigger than 1. The graph will be going up from left to right. We use our calculator to, use, to draw a treble or we do it manually with our hands. And plot this asymptote and plot these points on the Cartesian plane. Your final sketch will look like this. Please stop the video and make sure you understand. Work out your domain, your range. Is it ascending or descending? Decide. Here is another special one that you have to look out for. Now suddenly there is a minus in front here. The minus is loose of the 3 to the power of x. Remember that from your exponent rules. It is in the right form. The one asymptote will be y equals to number at the back, so y equals to plus 1. I'm not going to go deep into this, but because the base 
is bigger than 1. The graph should look something like this, but it's going to change a bit. There's a 3 there. Then you use your table on your calculator, or you draw in your own table, starting at 0, then 1, then 2. Do not make calculation mistakes and get the y values corresponding to those x values and plot it. But this is what your sketch will look like. This is actually part of transformations. So I'm telling you now that if you see a minus in front of this whole power here, it will reflect in your asymptote. So luckily the one asymptote will stay, but all this information that you found in the table you will see automatically forces you down here. So this is a descending graph. It would have been going up if it was positive. It is now going down. It's a reflection in the asymptote. But you don't need to understand this. If you do this properly, the coordinates will guide you. Just once more, if there's a minus in front of your power, it will be going under the asymptote. Last exponential graph of this video looks like this. You have to sketch it. It is in the right order. Your asymptote, one asymptote is y equals to back number, so y equals to minus 2. Your shape, because the b, the number there, is bigger than 1, in this case 2, it will be going up from left to right. You set up your table, or you use your calculator and set up a table there. Use numbers on either side of the node. Remember, x is naught is where you find your y-intercept. Calculate all the corresponding y values. Don't make calculation mistakes. Stop the video and make sure you got this sketch the same as us. And you got the domain and range the same as us. Please indicate whether you liked or disliked the video and subscribe to the channel. If you run into a problem sketching an exponential graph, you might send us a clear WhatsApp picture of your problem and a clear WhatsApp picture of where you tried it. Then we will try and help you and send back an answer as soon as possible. Enjoy sketching exponential graphs.